Hata kujua. Message ni kupea mwisho. Mama love you so much, mommy. Amu kumis kila siku. Upenda. Na time tulikuwa tumelala na mtoto, but mtoto nilikuwa nimemfunga diaper. But niliamka nikapata kitanda imeloa. Nikajiuliza kwani shida ni nini? Eh, hey, kwani mtoto amesusu mkojo mwingi aje? Kumba ikuwa mtoto, ilikuwa ni mimi. Hiyo time nilianza kwa mgonzo. Kuna mwenye wako nielewa kama boyfriend wangu. Cause aliona nimekuwa mgonzwa. Hiyo time nilimhitaji na hiyo time ndio alidecide kuniacha. Mtu akaanza kusikia story zenyewe alikuwa anasema, nilikuwa naye hapo. Mtu akaniambia mam, usiniache. Mama usiniache hapa. Sasa nikaanza kubembeleza mtoto nikiongea. Buka the one day yenye uliamka uka uka notice by the way sasa siezi tembea unaweza unaweza tuambia like how it happened like tupeleke tu like tupeleke tu pole pole how it happened how it made you feel ilikuwa sad cuz nilikuwa na nilikuwa na mtu hiyo time alikuwa na two years mm. singeza msaidi Hello and thank you for joining us for yet another exciting episode. I'm your host Songoi Kemani and this is my story happening right here at the Orion Production Home of Inspiration. Na leo, I'm not alone. I'm joined by an amazing guest with an amazing story. Unajua we are always here to inspire you and also to inspire ourselves. Na kama kawaida, we all have stories to tell. Na leo, we have one to listen to. So, let's dig in. Niaje? Poa. Asante sana kwa kuitikia mwito wetu. <laughs> um, ningetaka uambie mwenye anatusikiza like unaitwa nani, umetoka wapi, umegrow wapi like acha watu wakujue. Mimi kwa majina naitwa Helen. Mimi ni mzaliwa wa Mumias. Alafu pia nilikuwa nasoma Mumias. Um, mimi nimegrow shago by the way. Mhm. Mm alafu nimesoma ushago kuanzia nasari mpaka fomfo ndo nikakuja Nairobi mm. unaweza tuambia ilikuwa aje like uki grow up family setup yenu ilikuwa aje mimi nimelelewa na grandmother yangu huko ushago so mama alikuwa Nairobi family yetu yote ilikuwa Nairobi cuz tumezaliwa watatu mm-hmm. So nilikuwa boarding lakini that time. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Alafu pia nikiwa shule ni ilikuwa poa juu nilikuwa napenda kuimba. Hey. Nilikuwa napenda ku act. Alafu pia nilikuwa saidia ma poem. So mm. ilikuwa fun. Mm. Mm. Uko the what born in your family na pia unaweza sema like Juna feel uli uli raise na grandma yako like how, how was life as well? Life ilikuwa poa. Mm. Uh, is second born kwa familia yetu. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. So after form 4, after form 4 what happens? Do you go to campus? Do you start working? Si, si kwenda kampo, but mm-hmm. nilienda college, nilikuwa na somea dressmaking. Mm. Mm. Aha, uh-huh. alafu after dressmaking. Uh, after dressmaking me kamta, si kwa nime apply job, mm-hmm. alafu pia pesa ya sati si kuendea sati so singeendelea na vitu zingine sasa nimekuja tu nikakaa mtaani nikifanya vitu zangu cuz nilikuwa napenda acting nika create group sasa nime deal tu na mambo na group mambo na acting alafu pia mimi ni msanii nilikuwa naimba nikaanza kuimba ngoma mimi mm. mimi bongo okay mm. tutakwambia tuimbie before show ish <laughs> Lazima tusikize hizo bongo. Uh, Helen, uh, nataka utupeleke kwa how did you how did you get uh, to the place that now you are using a, a wheelchair to access places? Like tupeleke kwa hiyo step. Eni ilikuja nika kwa mgonjwa ilikuwa 2015. Mm-hmm. 
ju niliona ni manza tuku kwa week kani meka kwa, kwa kwa kiti siski kwa mka so najua unajiuliza shida ni nini cuz ulikuwa unatembea mm-hmm. na unasikia ukisimama lazima uji support kwa kiti mm-hmm. ndo usimame sasa but si kujua kani kitu serious by the way so nikaambia mm-hmm. mama ai sio ni kani kwa sawa cuz nikitembea na na feel ni kama niko na uzito fulani but mama hakuchukulia serious cuz alikuwa anashindwa ai hapana kitu kai hiyo yezi ya yezi ya mm-hmm. mm. sasa nikaenda osi send mary's mm-hmm. iko hapa langata mm-hmm nikaenda pale nikafanywa nini x-ray wakaniambia waone kama kuna shida so najua mimi nikarudi kwa nyumba mm. but slow by slow nili, nilikuwa naenda na kwa two week alafu nilikuwa nasikia baridi mingi ganzi kaniingilia kwa kichwa mm-hmm. miguu na mikono sa ili take long hivyo nikaanza kujisupport nikitembea na vuruta mguu chini na shikilia kitu ndo niende nilale mm-hmm so nikakuja nika nilipoteza yani fahamu kabisa singeweza jua mtu yote kwa hiyo nyumba hata mimi mwenyewe ukiniuliza jina langu si kwa najua jina mm. mm. sasa nikakuja nikapata mtali nisaidia alikuwa father fulani wa catholic akakuja akanipeleka hospitali kijabe nikapimwa wajue shida iko wapi nikafanya mra Alafu wakakuja wakagundua nilikuwa na shida ya nafsi. Mm. Mm. So ndo wakasema kama anaweza pele kwa therapy at least itanisaidia irudi normal. Nianze mm. kutembea. Mm. But ni kitu yani ili, ili take long kabisa. Mm. So hiyo time hiyo time sikupata hiyo pesa ya kwenda therapy cuz father alinipeleka pale hospitali kuna hospitali na jita neema mm-hmm. nikaenda hapo nikafanywa therapy but sikukaa sana nilifanywa tu for one month mm-hmm. but niliona nilikuwa na gain cuz ningeweza kujisimamisha peke yangu yeah. na pia nilikuwa naweza tembea at least kidogo mm-hmm. lakini sasa tena nikarudi kwa nyumba singeweza ji support cuz ukirudi ukae tena unarudi tu venye ulikuwa unarudi zero mm. so venye nilirudi kwa nyumba tena nikarudi zero sasa tena nivo sikurudi tena kutembea nika nikabaki tu kwa wheelchair hatu kwa hiyo pesa ya therapy mm. hela nikuulize unakumbuka the one day yenye uliamka uka uka notice by the way sasa siezi tembea unaweza unaweza tuambia like how it happened like tupeleke tu like tupeleke tu pole pole how it happened how it made you feel ilikuwa sad cuz nilikuwa na nilikuwa na mtu hiyo time alikuwa na two years singa them said so singeza msaidia mm-hmm. alafu pia alikuwa ananikamia na niambia mama mbona twenda ngi na wema mm-hmm. but singeza msupport cuz nilikuwa nishaenda chini mm-hmm. alafu sikitu ngo na expect Yo gonje lini chapa Do you know your story can inspire, encourage and uplift someone who has lost hope in life? If you wish to share your story with Orion Production, kindly reach us at my story through our email address theorionproduction@gmail.com or through our WhatsApp number 0728654867. Or call us on 0708-286012. Visit us on all our social media platforms on YouTube, The Orion Production, on Instagram, The underscore Orion underscore Production, on TikTok, The dot Orion dot Production. Don't forget to subscribe, follow, like, comment and share. The Orion Production, home of inspiration. Nilikuwa na mtoto wa 2 years. So kuna time tulikuwa tumelala na mtoto but mtoto nilikuwa nimemfunga diaper 
but niliamka nikapata kitanda imeloa nikajiuliza kwani shida ni nini eh hey, kwani mtoto amesusumu kwa jambo mingi aje kumba ilikuwa mtoto ilikuwa ni mimi mkoji ilikuwa inapita but singeweza jua najipata tu nimeloa nikaanza pia mimi kufungua diaper so nilikuwa natumiza diaper za mtu mkubwa so hiyo time ndo nilirealize kila kitu sioni kama niko na siko na yani kama niko sawa cuz hiyo time ndo kila kitu yani nilikuwa nimelemewa kabisa kutembea na pia fahamu nilikuwa nimepoteza hata ungeniuliza jina mtoto wangu sikuwa najua mm. mm. Helen so vile naelewa ni at nerves mm. so like at a like okay like on that instance and the the bed was wet like hunger feel you like your your nerves were not there it time unakana nani like how are they also like taking it are they taking care of you and the kid like environment and you'll go around how was it mama alikuwa anafanya kazi ya home basic alikuwa anaenda night shift so kulikuwa na msichana tulikuwa amenileta msichana anaweza nisaidia so huyo pia alikuwa ametoka ushago so hako anaelewa hivyo sana but so mimi ndo nilikuwa namwambia unaweza nisaidia na kitu fulani but alikuwa na care cuz alikuwa ananifunga diaper kwa hii complain yeah yeah hata akipata nime ana mm, nimemes mm. alikuwa ananisaidia sana mm. Mm. so ni sana support ilikuwa okay. eh support saidia support nilikuwa tu sawa mm. mjua alikuwa ni understand okay mm. all right take us to sasa ushajua like you like crazy tembea mm-hmm. are there instances enye ulikuwa na ulikuwa definitely na hope uko like najua siku moja itafika na nitatembea na maybe is that hope still there kitu nilinipatia hope by the way ilikuwa mtoto wangu yani nilikuwa namwangalia hivi najiambia siezi give up nataka nitembee juu ya mtu huyu at least yeye pia feel ako na mama so nilikuwa yenda alinipatia hope by the way sasa nilikuwa na fight hata nikienda therapy sometimes na fight juu yake yeah so nilikuwa najiambia siezi give up hivyo hata bado sasa niko na hopes nitakuja yes. kutembea one day mm. but sasa venye nilikalia wili cha pili kwa inanipatia stress cuz naangalia watu wananiangalia kwa barabara kani nimeikalia na shindwa guy huyu mtana nifikiria aje mm. but nilikuja nikazoea hata mtu akiniangalia sasa hivi niko tu sawa yeah. mm. ah. mimi nimesikia poa time yenye umesema hadi sasa yuko na hope ah yes Yes, I love that. Not to pay experience yako ya like the first time using a wheelchair, being on a wheelchair. Do this was like extremely something new in your life. Sik to liko mezoya. Ilikuwa hard kabisa cuz nilibaiwa hii wheelchair, nili nilibaiwa wheelchair na Samaria. Kuna mtu alijitokeza kanibaiwa wheelchair lakini unajua kwa na bebwa tu nikipeleka hospitali. So huyo akajitokezea akanibaiya lakini like sikuwa naitumia ilika karibu six months kwa nyumba mm. sikuwa natoka nayo mm. so one day brother yangu akaniambia hebu kama leo nikukalisha kwa ilcha tutoke lakini like sadi ya kwanza nilikuwa naona tu hata nikikutana na mtu kwa njia simwangalii kwa kwa macho yani nilikuwa naona tu macho zote ni kama ziko kwangu so venye nilirudi kwa nyumba nikasema guys sitaitoka tena na hiki tu kwa hii nyumba Nimeona ni kama watu tu walikuwa wananiangalia na waza eh hey, una amekalia nini so sikwa sikwa nimeja accept yeah. mm. but ilikuja slow by slow yeah. mm. nilikata tena kwa nyumba nikaona eh hey, hapana niko kuna venye tu sijajiamini yani sijajielewa lakini like. hizi mm. maprogram tumekuwa tukienda zika ndio zimenipatia motisha mm-hmm. nikaanza kutoka kwa nyumba hata wilcha nikikalia saa hii naonanga tu ni kama niko tu ni kama ni mtu natembea sasa. Yeah. Mm. Eh yeah, saa hii ni access alafu pia nilijikubali venye niko. Mm. 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 Alafu like uh, niko na swali kuhusu like the whole wheelchair ni kitu yenye unaweza uh, wheelchair yako in particular yenye unatumia unaweza tutumia like ukiwa peke yako like without help ya msimu mwingine. 
hii wilcha ni hard lazima utafute mtu maybe akusaidie mm. unajua sometimes kupata mtu mwenye anakusaidia pia ni hard mm. yeah so beta ile nyingine inakuangalia ile ya electronic unajua ukiwa na hiyo mwenye ni access mwenye unajipeleka tu mali unafani unajisikia kuenda mm-hmm. lakini hii lazima tu upate mtu anakusaidia ana at least anakusukuma mm-hmm. ndio uende sometimes been... unaweza kuume itwa mahali yeah. na kaa una mtu inabidi tu na cancel kila kitu mm-hmm. mm. so im, imekuaje umekuwa ukipata like watu wa kukusaidia or how has it is it hectic like tell us more about you Yeah, watu wa kunisaidia ngo anapata but pia ni challenge because unaweza tafuta mtu saa hiyo maybe umeitwa mahali for 10 minutes na maybe senyo unampigia kwa mbali saa hiyo. So najua ni challenge. Mm. Okay. So unaweza taka like ku upgrade your wheelchair or something. Yeah, mimi naweza taka tu maybe nikipata hii electronic mm-hmm. naweza fanya vitu zangu mingi cause okay. sometimes unaenda ku mobilize watu active. Mm so najua kibera lazima uende huko kijijini ndio utafute watu yeah, yeah. Mm. ama mwalimu nenda kufanya acting ni mbali mm. so ukiwa na hiyo unajua unajipeleka tu mwenye utafute hata yeah. mtu anakupeleka uh, mm. Mm. so guys when you have an electronic wheelchair accessibility is like much much better than the particular one that she's using so nataka like najua kuna kuna mtu anakusikiza na i kulingana na vitu umeniambia like you're acting like you're out there sana sana so ongelesha tu watu wenye wana to watch kama msi yako na uwezo if someone would want to i mean you never know mipango za mungu yeah mi ningependa tu kusema kama kuna mtu hapo nje mwenye anania anani what na pia amesikia story yango mi mimi ufanya mambo na acting na pia niko na mtu hii sometimes anataka kwenda out na wewe so kama mtu anaweza guzwa na ajitole kama anaweza ni nisaidia nipate hiyo ile cha electronic inaweza nisaidia kwa vitu mingi cuz mimi vitu zangu zenye nafanya ni vitu za ku move yeah, yeah. Mm. So unajua pia mtoto ufurahia hiyo time anaona mnatembea na yeye kwa barabara yeah. anakuwa na hiyo hops. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So kwa drop details za Helen will be dropping her number and where you can reach out to her. So if you're out there and you feel the will to you know buy her or a place also that we can get an electronic wheelchair inaza inaza make to her life much better you know you're out there let's make people smile uh, so helen like how long have you been on on the wheelchair and like how has how has that journey been kuna vitu zenye una feel maybe unge i don't know maybe unge do much better if you are not on it or like to peleke to like to peleke kwa your journey like how it has been on the wheelchair kwa hiyo ilicha nimekaa for around six years. Mm. Mm. Kuna vitu mingi maybe ningefanya kama natembea. Mm-hmm. So na maybe sasa ningekuwa mbali pia lakini sasa venye nilikuja venye nimekuja nikaa kwa mgonjwa nikakalia wilcha unajua vitu zim vitu mingi zilirudi chini. Mm. Mm. But kukuwa na marafiki pia ilikuwa sawa cuz walikuwa wananipatia roho wananipatia motisha wananiambia si give up yeah. fanya tu hizo vitu ulikuwa nafa, unafanya hapo mbeleni mm-hmm. cuz nilikuwa nisha give up mambo na acting nisha mm-hmm. give up mambo na kuimba mm-hmm. lakini walikuwa wananikalisha chini wananiongelesha yeah. sawa ndo alinimobilizia watu at least wakakuja wa juu wamejitolea si kitenye wanalipwa ni ile tu tunafanya for fun tunajienjoy mm. mm. so wanakujanga home tunafanya mambo na acting mm. na pia nikipata don nenda studio na recording ngoma yangu hey. mm. so najua my friends pia wamenishikilia sana mm. Mm. Napenda that you have a lot that is going on in your life you're acting you're doing the script editing na dimi nakwambia pia unaenda mbali as in keep keep being consistent at what you do na na get you also like work with the community and you have a group as well feel free to tell people about it and the shows that you guys do group yetu inajita tamara inajita tamtamtamara 
alafu si ufanya mambo na acting tunafanya mm, nini mm, tunafanya movies mm-hmm. series na pia tunafanya short skit mm-hmm. yeah kama unaweza jisikia pia unaweza to join mm-hmm. tuko pale kibera sasa so, tuna join naje au <laughs> unaweza tu tutafuta kwa simu uh, alafu una to join uh, mm-hmm. tulipishi Oh, hamlipishi. Mm, Atulipishi bado. Eh, aya sawa. <laughs> Asante kwa kutu plug na opportunity ngine. Kama uko hapo na uko na talent, si lazima pia watu wa Kibera, si ndio? Yeah. If you're out there again, hiyo detail tu yenye tutashare hapo. Ah, uh, being on a wheelchair. You're a mom, you know. I I understand kuna you have your channels of looking for money and everything in between. There's someone who's out there mwenye maybe the moment ali kali a wheelchair like i feel like that's the end of it and i feel at at some point uliko hapo ni vile like you've you've made you know peace or ume ume come to at a point yenye una feel uko uko much better so nataka uongeleshe mc ako ako out there ako in this position like just talk to them ka uko hapo nje na unaniona ka ume kali a wheelchair usi give up in life ukiwa na talent yako pia usi give up fuata talent yako fanya kenye ulikuwa na muone nataka kufanya you never know mm. you need come next okay. yeah mm. usi give up kabisa in life kama wewe ni mwimbaji imba kama wewe ni actor we yani fanya vitu zako by the way mtu asikukatie mm. okay you've had it kukua kwa wheelchair it doesn't it doesn't it might limit you to be honest but it doesn't limit your abilities it may just limit your your movement and all that asante sana helen for the story i know you've inspired quite a lot of people and i mean we'll get to know more of you so i just want us to take a little short break like grab your hot water hot tea and we'll be back after the break Do you know your story can inspire, encourage and uplift someone who has lost hope in life? If you wish to share your story with Orion Production, kindly reach us at my story through our email address theorionproduction@gmail.com or through our WhatsApp number 0728654867. Or call us on 0708-286012. Visit us on all our social media platforms on YouTube, The Orion Production, on Instagram, The underscore Orion underscore Production, on TikTok, The.Orion.Production. Don't forget to subscribe, follow, like, comment, and share. The Orion Production, home of inspiration. Welcome back and thank you for sticking with us. Uh we'll be continuing Astoria the amazing Helen. I know it has inspired you. It has inspired me as well so let's continue. Helen, we are back. Uh so now you're in a wheelchair and you're in a in your family setup so it's you, your mom and your and your daughter as well. Uh so how has life uh life in Mekwaje? who has been the breadwinner like how umekuwa mke mke how have you been doing life life imekuwa challenge cuz mom ni single mother mm. so no na jendo breadwinner pia and alikuwa na provide sometimes unaweza kuona nataka kitu lazima uombe mom unaona mm. job yake ni ile ya home basic kama mgonjwa amekufa maybe ana job job imeisha anaka kwa nyumba almost maybe anaweza kata kitu 8 months mm-hmm. ako kwa nyumba mm-hmm. ana job sasa imekuwa challenge kabisa cause tena kitamba apate maybe somewhere ameitwa aenda angoje mgonjwa tena inachukua long dapate mm-hmm. mwingine okay. mm sasa ni challenge kubwa kabisa right. yeah so hele na ileo definitely in one or two or like other instances ume ume patana na stigma is there like one particular person when you will feel this i can't take or like it's it's still in your mind yeah mm-hmm. your time nilianza kwa mgonzo kuna mwenyako nielewa kama boyfriend wangu okay. cuz aliona nimekuwa mgonzo hiyo time nilimhitaji 
na hiyo time ndio ali decide kwa niata mm-hmm. sa hiyo ndio kitu nilifeel pia imeni hurt kabisa mm-hmm. yeah Mm. Na maybe like the people around you I don't know your neighbors like watu wenye wako wako mtaani kwa ko, kwa community mm-hmm. lazima pia watu wako ongelele mm-hmm. cuz unasikianga ule msichana amekalia wheelchair ukipita mm-hmm. so lazima uzoe pia kuongeleleo okay mm. right. so like how how was it uliko na deal nayo aje ilikuwa hard lakini sasa ni mezoea. Yeah. Hata nikisikia mtu anaita, "Eh, demo ya wheelchair." Na geuka tu namwangalia, namwangalesha. Cuz ni mezoea. Ni kama jina. At all. Mm. Okay. Mm. Eh, na understand tu kuna hiyo point yenye inafikanga adwe like kuna unajikausha and everything. Eh, tell us about the the people around you, your kid. I mean, tuambie tu kuhusu life. Yeah. Life tulikuwa na tulikuwa tunaishi na neighbor mmoja mm-hmm. kwa hiyo mtaa wetu mali tulikuwa tu neighbor around mm-hmm. na huyu neighbor alikuwa mwanaume bibi yake alienda akamwacha na watoto watano mm-hmm. so life pia ilikuwa difficult cuz alikuwa mtana kunywa na pia akwa na job okay. So life ilikuwa ngumu kwake. Na alikuwa na watoto wadogo wadogo. Mkubwa alikuwa karibu class 5. Mm. Mm. So watoto wake karibu wote walikuwa wamenizoea wanakuja home, kaka tuko na kitu, tunapika, tunakula, wanaosha vyombo. Hivyo tu walikuwa wamenizoea kwa sister wao. So mmoja akasema, "Ai, unaweza niongelelea na my dad kama anaweza kuja kufanya nini? Tuishi na na nyinyi hapa cause mimi siko comfortable kwa ile nyumba yetu sasa hii mm-hmm. nataka tu mali na relax mimi mm-hmm. nikamwambia ina shida nitamuongelesha mm-hmm. so nikakuja nikaongelesha babao akakubali akasema ina ma ina mambo nikachukua huyu msichana mwenye alikuwa class 4 tukaanza kuishi na tumeka nao ilikuwa 2012 mm-hmm. mm. tumeka nae for 12 years alikuwa started for akakuja ka join ame join 2020 tukiwa tu nao na ye akanipigia simu akiwa shule so akiwa na shida alikuwa na share na mimi na pia akiwa sawa tulikuwa tunaongea sasa yani kila kitu alikuwa na make sure ameniambia about life yake so akanipigia simu tukaongea kwa simu akaniambia oh sis sio nikani kosa sio nikani kosa nikamuliza nini mbaya akaniambia naona ni kama nimeruka hii mwezi naona nikani kwa na ball mm-hmm. nikamwambia ah umejua aje kuna watu sometimes uki change climate mm-hmm. venye mmefungua shule maybe ni hiyo akaniambia ya hapana juu imeruka two months so naona tu ni kama ni ball mm-hmm. Nikamwambia so unaona aje akaniambia ai hapana mimi sio ni kama ndabe ndabeba hii mimba nataka nifanye nini nitoe Mimi nikamwambia nikamadvise kama big sis nikamwambia ai hapana hiyo haiwezekani ni dangerous usijaribu kufanya mistake kama hiyo wewe fanya hivi tulia mkifunga shule ukuje tuongee hata mnakaribia kufunga mm. Mm. So but wako funga shule corona ilitokea waka break before shule zifungwe akarudi home kurudi kwa nyumba alikuwa amesave 3000 akanionyesha ndo hiyo nimesave siji kama itanisaidia but mimi nataka kwa bot mimi nikamwambia usifanye mistake kaya hiyo cuz sasa hii bol yenyewe imefika 3 months imeanza kuonekana na ni dangerous usiabo usiabot ya kaniambia ai hapana mimi sasa hii niko na dreams zangu na pia sio ni kama nezana na mambo za mto na mtoto. Sasa mimi kitu nataka kufanya ni nitoe. But sasa mimi nikabishana kama nikamwambia yeye hapana hapa nayo haitezekana. Kama maybe unataka kuamua kufanya hivyo hapana si hapa. Sasa akaona maybe niko nimekata story zake. Sasa akafanya kinjaro, akajifanya me, amenisikiza. Kesha yake kumbe alienda kabaidawa si kujua ile nilikuwa nimeka huko nje mtu yeye akaingia kwa nyumba akani akakuja akaniambia ati mam 
nani ndo ule amelala huko ndani ya nyumba nikashtuka nikamwambia nini mbaya ati mimi sijui sasa nikamwambia buni siku umekuingia ndani nikapata wa ana bleed nikapigia bestangu simu akakaa wakamshikilia wakampeleka kwa chemistry lakini haiko ime affect saidi ya mtoto mm. wakampatia madawa akarudi kwa nyumba sasa kurudi kwa nyumba akaanza kunilaumu ananiambia wewe mbona umefanya hivyo ngacha tu atoke wewe ndio umezuia ndafanya aje pesa nilikuwa nayo tena umezuia mtu yeye atoka so utafanya nini mimi nikienda pale si siku yangu ikifika ndafanya nini nitajifungua na nifanye ni ndacha mtoto kwa hospitali kwa mimi sitaki story za mto za mto hiyo so mimi nikamwambia guy mtu ni malaika na mimi niko tu hapa haina haja ufanye nini wende hospitali uzae mtoto na muache huko fanya hivi hiyo day ikifika wewe za mto hii na unilete ndamlea kama wangu venye nimelea tu wangu venye yako hivyo ni bado tutaendelea huyu hata kama nimekalea hili cha ndamlea tu akasema uteza kweli nikamwambia gai hauwezi jua ya Mungu ni ajabu atanisaidia kulea akaniambia okay kama mwenyewe maamua mimi usikujue kunitafuta siku ingi siku nyingine nikamwambia ina shida siwezi kukutafuta we bora usikujue kunigeuka siku nyingine mimi sina shida akaniambia mimi sitaki mambo za mtoto nikamwambia okay haina mambo so ikafika 6 months akaanza kwenda clinic kufika pale osi akanipigia simu akaniambia ati naitishwa ID number na jina na mimi sitaki kitu yote nyitapia kwa kadi ya mtoto ukuje siku nyingine ufanye nini unitafute nayo so fanya hivi nitumia ID number yako so mimi nikafanya ai hata jina yako utaki kuandika hapa akasema sita sitaki nataka kuandika details zote kwako so mimi nikamtumia nikamwambia itezekana akaniambia eh hey, itezekana so nikamtumia ID number kurudi yenyewe alikuwa maandika jina yangu hapo kwa hiyo kadi na pia maandika ID namba yangu na namba ya simu. So nika nini akaenda hiyo clinic paka dakika ya mwisho. Ikafika day yake ya kujifungua. Alijifungua vizuri. Aka kuja kwa nyumba na mtu hii hiyo kwanza yote imenye alikuwa amejifungua akanipigia simu yake onsa akaniambia ati eh hiki kitu yako imeniondokea ngoja tu nakuletea nikisikia tu poa nakuletea tu sahi cuz wameniambia najishajua tu leo mimi nikamwambia ai usite mtoto kitu, kitu we mle we mlete akaniambia aki usiniruke nikamwambia ai hapana siezi bai hizo vitu zote nikupeleke hospitali tena ifike day ya mwisho nifanye nini nikuruke we fanye hivi kuja kwa nyumba nikamtumanishia uba akakuja so hiyo time yani alikuja akaniambia eh mzigo wako ndo hiyo day one tu mm. nikachukua mtoto nika ilifika clinic ya akaka hapo home two days akarudi kwa cuz alikuwa anafikiria maybe shule zinakaribia kufunguliwa but walika home for long mm. Mm. So yeye akaenda akaniacha na mtoto. Ikafika nini? Hiyo e, shindani nyo anaenda kudunga mtoto ya six weeks. Nikatafuta beshta yangu by the way. Yenda lupeleka mtoto shindano kuanzia six weeks paka ya mwisho. Nimengangana na mtoto na stressioni yangu. Sometimes ningwa najipata niko peke yangu kwa nyumba. Niko na mtoto, vinyo watoto walifungwa shule jutukua tulikuwa na mtoto wa kazi yangu mwingine hapo na huyu mtoto wangu hao ndio alikuwa ananisaidia by the most cuz walikuwa wamefunga shule hiyo time mama alikuwa job saa tulikuwa tu peke yetu so naelewa mtoto mdogo hiyo time anyonyi nini ni maziwa unampatia sasa mtoto yeye anashinda amelia usiku yote but ingawa nangangana cuz mimi mwenyewe nilikuba nilikubali so watu wao wakafungua shule hiyo time walifungua mtoto alikuwa ashafikisha kitu alifikisha alikuwa at least na four months hiyo mm-hmm. time sasa nilikuwa nangangana mwenyewe na hiyo time nataka kutoka maybe nikishalala tukiamka nangangana mm-hmm. <laughs>
Do you know your story can inspire, encourage, and uplift someone who has lost hope in life? If you wish to share your story with Orion Production, kindly reach us at my story through our email address, theorionproduction at gmail.com or through our WhatsApp number, 0728-654867 or call us on 708 Visit us on all our social media platforms on YouTube, The Orion Production, on Instagram, The underscore Orion underscore Production, on TikTok, the.orion.production. Don't forget to subscribe, follow, like, comment, and share. The Orion Production, home of inspiration. Nilikuwa nangangana naye. Hiyo time watoto wenyewe walifungua shule. So najua mtu wewe huwezi kaa tuna yeye kwa kitanda the whole day. Nilikuwa nachukua hiyo kitanda mtoto, nikaelea jua meza kama mtu ako ndani. Alafu pia mimi mwenyewe napanda jua meza, tunajivuruta, tunaenda kwa kiti. Sasa hiyo fua tutaenda shule, wameniachia maji moto kwa flask. Maziwa iko hapo. Sasa mtu yako tu sawa. Nampatia. Sio time ya kuoga ikifika napiga beshi tangu anakuja tunamuosha. Anaenda. Sasa hivyo tu nimemlea. Nimekana hivi karibu nimekana hivi for 3 years. Sasa birthday mtoto ya 3 years ilikuwa kwa nyumba. Nona sister homes jana akakuja kwa nyumba. Ilikuwa kitu saa moja jioni akakuja akaniambia ati oh mambo nikamwambia po akaniambia ati una nani si za benituma ako pale nini 42 ameniambia kama ni nisaidia na mtu hii wanaenda bash mahali kwa zile ni birthday yake nikamwambia ai mtoto amelala siezi muamsha kwa zingizi mm. na uzi sitako sana kujanga hapa kwani kuna nini leo endo muambia fanya nini akuje mwenye mwenyewe so ya katoka akaenda Mm. But nilibaki nikijiuliza kwani kuna nini? Huyu msichana amekuanga akikuja hapa akienda. Mm. Mbona leo anaitisha mtoto na kwa barabara? Kwa barabara. Alafu pia story ya mtoto, hakuna mtu alikuwa anajua hata kwa familia yao. Alizanga kacha mtoto huku. So ilikuwa tu mimi, maybe na ye, na maybe mama. Mm. Familia yake iko inajua. Hakuna mtu mm, anajua. Hakuna mtu alikuwa anajua kabisa. Mm sana kashindwa huyu au comes maybe huyu ame, ametumana huyu akakuza ho kesha yake tena jioni niko na the same same girl akakuza kwa nyumba akaniambia mambo poa akaniambia ho kumeaka moto nikamuliza nini mbaya akaniambia ati baba huyu mtoto uko naye hapa ametokea amesema nikuletei barua na tunahitajika children's right nikamuuliza baba ya nani akaniambia baba chichi nikamwambia oh baba chichi ndo na yani baba yake ni nani by the way juu umenistua na hiyo jina ya baba by the way akaniambia mm. anaitwa Sam nikamwambia amekupata baroni lete ni sawa wefanya hivi tutapatana na yeye huko ni sawa ina mambo so mimi nilikuwa najiuliza kwani alikuanga wapi hizo miaka zote mm. alafu anaangoja the same same birthday mtoto at 3 years wakaanza hizi sarakasi zote. Ikafika tarehe sita mimi nikaenda pale DC kwa Children's Right. So, hiyo time naingia hapo ndani, napata boy fulani amekaa pale, kuna mother fulani hapo na msichana. So mother si kwa namjua. Ndio nikaambiwa huyu ndo grandmother mtu toko naye. Huyu ni baba mtoto. So wakaniuliza unajua huyu? Nikamwambia yeye hapana, simjui. Na huyu? Nikamwambia simjui. Alafu huyu afisa akaniuliza wendo Helen nikasema eh akauliza huyu mama mama nikusaidie aje Umada akaanza kujeleza yani alijeleza sifu alikuwa hapo hiyo day mara ati msichana wangu aliza alikuwa anaishi kwa kinaude akamwachia mtoto akarudi shule na msichana wake mwenyewe alirudi shule hata saini 2 years kama amemaliza akwa hii ulizia hata story na mtoto so akasema ati udema alimwibianga mto alimwibia mtoto wakauliza boy na wewe akasema mimi baba mtoto nilikuwa nataka mtoto wangu so nikauliza huyu afisa mimi watu hata siwajui by the way mm. leo ndo sikia kwanza kuamit 
afisa kaniuliza yeye yeah, akunipatia chance hata nijeleze on my side mm-hmm. ajua hata mimi yani ajue story yangu mali iko mm-hmm. yeye yeah, akanirukia tu akaniambia ati oh mtoto wako wapi nikamwambia mtu yako kwa nyumba ati tunaweza mpata aje nikamwambia maybe nipi nipige simu so nikapigia mamu simu kupigia mamu nikamwambia unaweza leta huyo mtu yeye hapa mama kaniuliza nini mbaya kaambia ah hapa hakuna kitu mbaya wewe mle mleta hapa kwa ofisi so ya afisa akaniambia ati nikamuuliza hivyo tu akaniambia ati nakupatia 30 minutes u hand over mtoto kwa kwa watu wake either kwa grandmother ama kwa baba yake nikamuuliza unipatia hata chance yangu mimi nije explain ujue ilikuwaaje ilikuwa hivi na hivi so unipatia nafasi pia mimi niongee akaniambia ati sitaki story le, sitaki story refu wefanya hivi nivyo tunarukuanga sasa wewe kubali umerukwa nikamwambia ni sawa ina shida sasa ilikuwa lunch time akaamka kila mtu akaamka akajitoa so anangoja mtoto mm. eh mimi nikakaa chini nikafikiria nikajiambia hapana kitu kama ina hiyo ni kiezeka kiezeka mtu nimekaa na 3 years au watu walikuwa anga wapi huyo muda wote nimesumbuka na mtoto kwa hizo siku zote mtu anatoka kwa kofu from noya anataka mtoto ai hapana nikajiambia iwezekane alafu watu wenye naambiwa nipatie mtoto siwajui eh nikasema itawezekana mimi nikachukua simu nikapigia mama wangu nikamwambia mam usilete huyo mtoto hapa we zima simu na kuja nikaita mwenye nilikuwa naye nikamwambia bu twende tukatoka hapo nikapiga hesabu nifanye anze nikaenda kwa ofisi nyingine hapo inajiita crew nikaingia hapo nikawaelezea shida yangu nikawaelezea waka, au pia walishtuka wakaniambia waka nani alikuwa hapo ni afisa mgani nikawaambia wakampigia simu saa kwa kumpigia simu huyo afisa alikuwa anaongelesha yani ni kama wako anapatana kwa simu vitu zenye hawa naongelelea na wajibu vitu zingine so akawaambia eh fanya hivi atuko tu, atuko page moja we fanya hivi wacha si tufanye ni tupatie clients wetu tumpatie advice sawa so, kamkata akaniambia huyu msee ni kama jelewi cuz mm-hmm. kitu kama ija ijawai nini wajaifanya kitu kama hiyo so pia mimi aka, tena akasema hebu tuchukue advice kwa afisa mmoja mwenye anafanya hapo but sasa hii ako leaf mm-hmm. tena wakapiga huyo afisa huyo akasema ai kitu kama hiyo tujaiamua hivyo cuz huyu demo amekana mtoto for 3 years yeah. wanafua wa mconsider yeah. huyu mtu amemzoeae kama mama hakuna vinywa ta order tu at 30 minutes mm-hmm. peana mtoto ingekuwa kitu 3 months 2 months hiyo tuna understand au watu walikuwa ngapi baba mtoto alikuwa api hiyo miaka yote mm-hmm. na au sure au ni baba mtoto ni grandmother mtoto au watu wote ni strange haiwezekani mm-hmm. waka akatuambia aka atifanye hivi wewe chukua mtoto rudi kwa nyumba na relax kama kuna mtu hapa na pia kama mtoto kwa nyumba enda na usiaishi kama simu zao Sasa pia mimi nikafanya venye niliambiwa mm-hmm. nikarudi kwa nyumba sasa walikuwa wananipigia simu walinipigia simu eh hey. nilikuwa nalenga nikazimanga simu yangu so akaanza kusumbua mabeshte zangu wanataka kuashika wakawaletea mapolisi mpaka queen aliyekuwa ndani akatoka tena wakaendea mwingine hivyo hivyo tu walikuwa natafuta watu niko nao karibu wanawashika sasa mimi nikaka nikasema guy nikiendelea niki kukaa hivi maybe nime hide watafanya nini watu wenye niko nao ndio wenye wanaumia mm. wacha nitokee ikuwe venye itafanya nini itakuwa mm. nikatokea nikawapigia simu juu nilikuwa na hizo namba zao nikamwambia fanyeni hivi nimechoka tu na kila kitu tukutane Karen police station ni hand over mtoto but ilikuwa pain mm. ilikuwa pain kabisa venye kwa nachukua hiyo decision Do you know your story can inspire, encourage and uplift someone who has lost hope in life? If you wish to share your story with Orion Production, kindly reach us at my story through our email address theorionproduction@gmail.com or through our WhatsApp number 0728654867. Or call us on 0708-286012. Visit us on all our social media platforms on YouTube, The Orion Production, on Instagram, The underscore Orion underscore Production, on TikTok, 
v.orion.production. Don't forget to subscribe, follow, like, comment and share. The Orion Production, home of inspiration. Ilikuwa pain but hiyo decision venye nile make nikaamua acha iko venye itakuwa. Nilikuwa naangalia mtoto mpaka mtoto yeye alikuja ka realize mom hakuwa na yani alikuwa anaona ni kama siko sawa. Nikamwambia by saa tisa tukutane hapo police station. So tukatoka tukaenda hapo police station Karen. Mimi ndo nilifika wa kwanza. Sasa ma polisi wakaanza nilikuwa na mtoto kwanza mtoto hii ni kama alifeel cuz alikuwa amenikatalia amekata kushuka chini. So wakijaribu kumuita amekata so wakaniuliza shida ni nini? Nikaanza kuwaelezea hiyo shida nikamwambia mimi nimekuja hapa nilikuwa nataka ku over mtoto at least muniandikie nime hand over. Mm-hmm. Sasa hao pia kaniambia umekaa na mtoto hii for how long? Mbia tangazaliwe mpaka saa hii ni 3 years. Waka ni feel wakasema mm-hmm. ai hapana hatutafanya kitu kama hiyo je itakuwa ha haiki mm-hmm. tutakuwa tumekutendea vibaya. Mm-hmm. So venye umchana alikuja akaanza kumwongelesha ulikuwa anga wapi hizo miaka zote? na ukijana alikuwa wapi mm. wakaulizwa hapo sasa so, akasema mi, mi nataka tu mtoto wangu wakawambia umto wetu jakatani wako already mm. sasa yuko na mtoto mwingine ushaza na kijana mwingine mm. mm. sasa ukijana uko naenda anaenda kule mtoto ama mtoto anaenda kwa mwenye unasema ni baba yake mm-hmm. akasema mi naenda na mtoto wangu So akawaambia fanya hivi kama unataka mtoto na uko sure unamtaka. Hiyo mia kenye u madama amekaa na mtoto ni mingi sana. Tuwezi kupatia mtoto. Either wewe ufanye nini ufile case kotini. Mm-hmm. Lakini sisi tuwezi toa mtoto yeye ndo akona hizo details. Mm-hmm. Tukiangalia nini notification imeandikwa jina yake. Tukiangalia kadi ya mtoto imeandikwa jina yake. Sasa tutakuwa ni kama tunamnyima haki yake. Mm-hmm. Tuwezi fanya mistake kama hiyo. Wakapigia mkubwa au sasa wakampigia simu wakawaambia madam tumeletwa hapa kesi fulani kwa hivi na hivi wakampimia kila kitu. Mm-hmm. Ule akasema mwenye ako na mtoto sai mmwacha aende na mtoto. Huu mwingine kama ameona anahitaji mtoto afanye nini? Enda file case kwa wapi? Kotini. Mm-hmm. Sasa hivi aka cancel hizo vitu. Sasa mimi nikarudi na mtoto kwa nyu, kwa nyumba. So nikaka one day tena kesho nyingine hiyo nikapigiwa simu mali walikuwa ame report case waka sasa ni kama walini prank wakapiga simu wakaniambia ati oh fanya hivi unaweza kuja police station ya DC tu nini ati uki jana likushtaki hapa ni kama wajelewi na wiki msichana msichana vitu zenye nongeni za uonga na kijana pia ni kama ashafa nini asharuka hiyo story sawa fanya hivi kuja tu na mtoto hapa tukuandike mabara fulani tukupatie custody ya mtoto uende usainiwe uwekewe custody ya mtoto mm. sasa nikaona eh ni kama Mungu amenisikia mm. sasa nikachukua uba nikaenda huko <laughs> nikaenda kwanza kwa hiyo ofisi ya watoto but huyo mwenye huyo afisa alikuwa akukua sasa tukatoka hapo tukaenda pale police station kufika hapo nikapata OCS mm. sasa nikaingia kwa ofisi yake nikaanza kumpatia story venye ilikuwa venye ilikuwa akaniambia oh Kumbe ni wendo ulikuwa natafutwa nikasema eh, ni mimi. Akasema umefanya vizuri ukaku ukakuja. Cuz umsichana story yenye alikuwa anapeana hapa na yenye unaongea aiambatani. Mm-hmm. Alafu pia umsichana alikuwa amekuandikia umefanya nini? Uliba mto, uliba mtoto. Sasa mimi nikapimia mpaka OCS pia alinifeel. Mm-hmm. Akasema ai hapana kama ni hivyo by the way aitezekana umsichana alizaa akiwa na 20 years. Lakini kufika pale amaandikisha alizaa akiwa na 14 years. Nona. Sa ikakuwa mimi nilimforce maybe kufanya mm-hmm. Kenya alifanya. Nona. Sa lawa moto wakanitupia ni mm-hmm. mimi. So nikasema nikawaambia wampigie simu akuja hapo hivyo. Mm-hmm. Na nilikuwa na mtoto saa hiyo. So akasema, "Eh, huyu msichana kulingana na venye alikuja hapa alikuwa anaongea hata mtoto mwenye ajai muona nini? Yana aliongea vitu mingi." Mm-hmm. Sasa mimi nikamwambia siwezi ongea wafanye nini wampigie simu. Nike wakanipeleka kwa room fulani pia kulikuwa na ofisi nini? mapolisi wengine hapo. Sasa mapolisi wakaanza kuniongelesha wakaniambia ati eh umefanya vizuri ukakuja kozi huyu msichana alikuwa ashakuharibia jina hapa. Amekuandikia uliba mtoto. Yana aliandika vitu mingi hapa hivi. Mm. 
na waga, sasa kulingana na venye waliniuliza mimi nikwambia mtoto ni wake sijakata mm. lakini ilikuwa na agreement ilikuwa hivi na hivi na hivi mm. wakanambia ungekuwa mbaya by the ungekata tu mtoto ni wa ni wako mm. cause documents zinasoma jina yako mm. lakini wewe umekubali ni wake unaona sasa alifanya makosa kufanya nini kuandika hivyo sasa msichana mwenyewe akakuja akamuuliza leta id tujue miaka yako ilikuwa ngapi akasema ana id haya wakamwambia kama una id uko na birth yeah. haya akasema ti birth yangu ilipotea but niko na ingine wakamwambia si ulete nyuko naye mm-hmm. akatoa birth wamefake wameeka hapa alizaliwa to what to six so amefake kila kitu aka sasa ama polisi wakaanza kupiga hesabu hiyo mimi Kenya amesema yani wakawaambia wakil yani wakiangalia ni kama mm-hmm. aliingia class 1 akiwa na 3 years mm-hmm. sasa walikuwa namuuliza ai hapana yani kila kitu yenye aliongea hapo vitu zenye ali present makaratasi kila kitu tu alikuwa amefake mm-hmm. wakawaambia hii birth si ya ukweli basi kama tunataka kujua miaka yako ya ukweli utafanya nini uende ufanye nini upimwe meno sasa hapo venye alisikia story na meno mama yake mm-hmm. akaanza kusema ati oh, huyu alizaliwa 2000 Mm. Sasa which means hii ako na 23 years. Mm. Ndio akawaambia na mbona mlifoji kitu. Ulikuwa na furahia huyu akienda ndani juu alifanya hii na hii maybe wa, ni kama ali wanaweza mweka hata hakuwe child sijui what traffic. Mm. Mm. Eh, so najua utakuwa umefunga mwenza wako. Mm. Akawaambia huyu msichana amekana wewe for 12 years. Ndio huyu amerudi amekulelea mtoto for 3 years. Hiyo mm. ndio appreciation unaweza mpatia kweli so wakamwongelesha hapa akasema ti si ali file case ni mama yake sasa mimi nikajiuliza mm. huyu mama au nimekana msichana wake 12 years sija meet tangu awaache ametoka from noe anataka kulea mjuku na mtoto wake last born alimwachakiwa na 3 years eh sasa yule last born wake ame join saa kwa form 1 ndo mama yake ametokea sasa kama alishindwa kulea watoto wake atalea mjuku kweli nikajiuliza nikauliza swali kama hiyo uko mali yako pia ameza watoto wengine na uko na bwana mwingine mm. hmm. saa kuna kitu walikuwa na huko hapo mm. so nikaambiwa at least yao walikuwa na handle hiyo case mm. ni assistant OCS ndio alikuwa ameishikilia so akaniambia ni mgoja akuze au ni maneno but wakasema huyu mm. msichana vitu zenye alifanya au anaona tu afanye nini aende kama anataka mtoto aende afanye nini a file case kotini but hapo mm aiwezekana mm. but sasa ule polisi alikuwa ameshikilia hii kesi venye aliingia aliingia akiwa mkali kabisa mm-hmm. akatoa tu alikuwa hapo ndani akatoa nje yani ali make sure tu tuko peke yetu but sasa ama polisi wengine wakutoka wakamwambia fanya hivi mm-hmm. before uamue kenye unataka kuamua mm-hmm. inafaa usikize both side mm-hmm. wacha msichana kueleze kila kitu utaelewa mali juu kuna uongo mingi kwa hii maneno documents zenye zimeletwa pia ni za fa- za uongo so wakaombea usikize kwanza mm-hmm. before uamue mm-hmm. sasa venye alisikia hivyo akasema tuacha twende lunch kwanza sasa akatoka wakaenda wakarudi around saa kumi. sasa wengine walikuwa washaenda mm-hmm. tukaingizwa kwa ofisi nyingine hapo <laughs> OCS venye aliona tumekuwa kwa hiyo ofisi mm-hmm. akakuja akasema before muamue kitu yote mi kama OCS wa hii nini police station mm-hmm. niko na la kusema mm-hmm. akasema mimi nime consult by the OCS karibu saba mm-hmm. na wote wenye nimeongea nao wamenijibu jibu moja sasa hiyo jibu nimepewa si mimi nimejamulia mm-hmm. nimeulizia kwanza mm-hmm. na watu wote wamenipatia jibu moja hiyo jibu ndo naenda kufanya ni kwa m- kutolea uamuzi wangu mm-hmm. akasema au wote wameniambia mwenye amekuja na mtoto na ko na documents yenda rudi na mtoto kwa nyu kwa nyumba. Mm. Na huyu mwenye alikuwa anataka mtoto aenda file case kotini. Mm. So, akasema hiyo ndo uamuzi wangu na kama mtaamua kitu kingine, mimi mm. siko nda, siko ndani. Mm. So huyu polisi akakuja akasema ati nishaleta fesa wa, wa watoto hapa, wacha tusikie saidi yake pia Kenya tuongee. Mm. Kuingia hapo ndani nikapata ni ule msa alikuwa ananiharakisha last time. Mm-hmm. Nikampata hapo ndani akanisalamia mambo Helen ati nilisikia complain sana last time siku kupata chance leo uko na chance unaweza je explain mm. sasa hiyo time nimeanza tukuongea hivi mm-hmm. akaniambia si leo uko umeona mama mtoto sasa sumpatie mtoto wake huyu afisa mwingine pia akaingia ndani akaniambia eh hey, 
Simama mtoto ndo huyu, peana mtoto. Suko ready, peana sasa mtoto. Mm. Ilikuwa pain because mtu akaanza kusikia stories zenyewe alikuwa anasema, mm. nilikuwa naye hapo. Mtu akaniambia mam, usiniache. Mama usiniache hapa. Mm. Sasa nikaanza kubembeleza mtoto nikionge. Mm. Do you know your story can inspire, encourage and uplift someone who has lost hope in life? If you wish to share your story with Orion Production, kindly reach us at my story through our email address theorionproduction@gmail.com or through our WhatsApp number 0728654867 or call us on 0708 286012 visit us on all our social media platforms on YouTube the Orion production on Instagram the underscore Orion underscore production on TikTok the dot Orion dot production don't forget to subscribe follow like comment and share the Orion production home of inspiration your mom is in your team so mimi nikaanza kumbembeleza ile naongelesha mtoto. Huyu afisa akamwambia unaangaza chukua mtoto wako. Nikauliza amwangalia hata welfare ya mtoto. Cuz hata vitu zenye mnongea mtoto anazisikia. Cuz ni mtoto anaelewa unaona. Ni kama mnataka kuumiza mtoto. Na nikauliza yani kitu inakuangatua haraka hivyo. Amwezi patia hata mtoto time ajue amjue ju at least amzoee na amchukue. Cuz itaumiza mtoto vibaya sana. Mm. Alafu pia nikamwambia mimi kulingana na venye na, na muskia wanafanya ng assessment. So mm. kama mnaweza fanya mtu ya assessment inaweza kuwa smart. Alafu nikamwambia kama mnaweza kubali by the mpatiane two weeks udema kuzenge kwa nyumba. Mm. At least anachukua mtoto wanaenda wanatembea anamrudisha. Hivyo hivyo mtu yamzoe. Alafu hiyo day nyingine akikuza anafanya nini? Anamchukua akiendanga. Itakuwa tu ni sawa. Mimi sina shida. Sina shida. But sasa Nikasikia tu anaambiwa chukua mtoto we na mtu hisa sio najua alikuwa anasikia akanishikilia kabisa anaanza kupiga nduru anasema mam mamu usiniache hapa hivi mamu usiniache saa pia mimi nilikuwa uchungu mm. wakamvuruta mtu amenishikilia kabisa alimvuruta tu kabisa una mm. <laughs> saa mtu alikuwa amenishikilia tight wakaanza kumvuruta akachukua mtoto ni hivyo venye alichukua mtoto wakatoka wakienda yani nili feel like mtu ya kupewa haki yake mm. mtu ya kupewa haki yake cause mm. vitu zenye alifanya hapo niliona ni kama ni vitu za unyama mm. alafu pia ngwa na feel hii Kenya tuna haki cause wakachukua mtoto wakatoka niliona ni kama walinyima mtoto wa haki yake na pia Yaani walinichukua kwa mnyonge nilijiona mnyonge kabisa. Mm. Yaani ilifanya nikafikiria vitu mingi hapa Kenya by the mnyonge ana haki cuz yani wataki kukusikiza. Wanaona ile uongo ndio ya ukweli wewe kenye unaongea. Wachukulii manani. Mm. Mtu alitoka akipiga nduru kabisa. Mm. Cuz alikuwa anasikia kila kitu ilikuwa naongelelewa hapo ndani so alikuwa tu ready anajua anataka kumwacha mm. sasa mtu anaenda amelala na nyuma anapiga nduru ameinua mkono unajua akisema mam mam nataka mamangu nataka mamangu lakini hawa kunisikiza mm. walienda wakapanda piki piki wakatoka wakaenda hivyo na nivyo walienda mimi nikabaki hapo nimehang imagine natoka pale police station na kani kama nilikuwa nimeenda langata kuzikana yani narudi kwa nyumba waliacha viatu hapo nimebeba viatu za mtoto kwa mkono ilikuwa pain nikasema kwani wamenyima haki cuz hamu aliniona nimekalewa licha sina uwezo kabisa sina mtu wa kunitetea ilikuwa pain paka sasa bado tunaumia yani nasema hey, hii Kenya na nikuulize Helen pole for for everything iki to ime ina happen like lini ina happen period gani ilikuwa tarehe 13 ni mwezi tu mm. mm. jumtoya ligonga 3 years ilikuwa tarehe 3 
birthday yake. Sasa mm. hiyo ni kama ndo present nilipea birthday kumpeana. <laughs> Nilikuwa pain. Hata sijui mtoto mwenyewe mali yako ana feel aje, ananifikiria aje. Mm. Juu mtoto. <laughs> so from date 3 siku ya birthday yake ili take to like 10 days on 13th of September 2023 mm-hmm. ndo walichukua mtoto yeah, and walichukua mtoto and like that was it yeah and ivo alienda kanyamaza so ujakuwa like in any communication na mama ke, like maybe ku have conversations around like why did she have to do that sijaiongea naye kwa simu kabisa kwa sababu mtoto mwenyewe pia nasikia alishasafirishwa alipeleka ushago mama ke na kwa hapa Nairobi kwa bwana yake Mm. So naona ni kama pia wamepanish wame mtoto unajua mtu alikuwa amenizoea mm. sasa na go through what cause washamchangia maisha mm. walimtoa wali kwa mwili wangu kwa mama yake mwenye anajua kama mama yake mm. mali ameenda pale ajui mtu yote mm. life ime change tu haraka hivyo mm. so sijui sahi ana go through what Helen given a chance unaweza taka ku have conversation na mama ya huyo mtu na kama unaweza pata hiyo chance unaweza taka kumwambia nini Mimi on my side chance yenye ningetaka ni maybe kama anaweza nirudishia tu mtoto hiyo ndo chance yangu by the way cuz mimi ushinda ni ke pray one day niamke nimpata kwa hapa na nitama ningekuwa ningefurahia sana So kama alikuwa anaitwa nani? Ama to say mention. Oh, I mean kama uko uko out there, I think ni inaweza kuwa like just okay to to reach out and have a conversation juu. Na feel honestly that was an ambush. Mtu alikuwa amejitolea ku, kukulelea mtoto and then like all of a sudden una as in it's 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 too much betrayal. So I mean it will just be okay like to to sit down and have a conversation around that the fact that mtu alikuwa amejitolea like i mean ulikuwa ume ulikuwa ume give your all una feel like bado ume umembeba kabisa because alikuwa mtoto wangu ni mtu nilipewa day one nilianza kumlea akiwa kwa tumbo three months Mm-hmm. nimeka hapo nilikuwa na support mama yake mm-hmm. hata yeye mwenyewe alienda si aliambiwa ana damu ya kutosha nili make sure nimembaya kila kitu ndo maybe akijifunga mtoto wako atoe akiwa healthy no mm-hmm. from day one nimekuwa na mtoto sijai mm-hmm. atujai tengana yani no mtu ame grow to akijoni mam oni sitake so unajua ile affect paka mtoto wangu yo shindwa alienda mm, alienda pia anashinda ngatoa melia anataka mm. sister yake na shindwa za nitafanya mm. mm. najua pia mali yako anashinda ngakilia anataka mami nataka nataka sister yango unaona mm. so hizo ni vitu at least najua tu ni kitu ina happen so huyo mtu hii mali yako najua tu anaumia mm. anaumia kabisa okay uh you see story like legal terms if you understand like legal terms like much better maybe you can also like provide such help alikuwa amekana mtu for three years and then all of a sudden i know the agreement might have been siet ni kitu mlikuwa meandikiana ilikuwa like mlikuwa meambiana to like one on one so if you might be knowing like how mtu aneza and like through that process you can kindly reach out to to her or as well to us will be sharing her details as well um helen to kimalizia and it's it's been quite an emotional story to tell and the wound is definitely fresh june kitu may happen it may happen this month actually um mtu yale kwa naitwa nani alikuwa chichi um chichi chichi ana zapata na video like one day one day, yeah. day. Mm. day. ngataka kuambia chichi nini do you know your story can inspire encourage and uplift someone who has lost hope in life If you wish to share your story with Orion Production, kindly reach us at my story through our email address theorionproduction@gmail.com or through our WhatsApp number 0728654867. 
or call us on 0708-286012. Visit us on all our social media platforms on YouTube, The Orion Production, on Instagram, The underscore Orion underscore Production, on TikTok, the dot Orion dot Production. Don't forget to subscribe, follow, like, comment, and share. The Orion Production, home of inspiration. Titi, na jo one day utaku tako na i video. Ataku jo. Ese jine kupe amish. Mama love you so much, mommy. Amu kumis kila siku. Amu penda. Kind of something more, Ama. That's it. I hope one day to talk to her. Guys, I know this is a. It's a. It's a story of detachment. Una detach you from someone. The emotions were so invested, and the fact that she was extremely willing to take care of the kids. So I know it's quite. It's quite heavy. Um, thank you, Helen, for being courageous enough to share your story with us and with the world as well. Najua, sometimes the system, the systems don't favor people who can't jiongelelea. But I always feel that there, there is more to that. There, there is God who is like the the highest power that we have. So God will fight for you. Okay. Uh, Alia mentioned. Uh, Helen works with quite she does a lot of things she works with a lot of people and so Helen is ataka ushe vile unazataka watu wa kufikia if it's your email if it's your phone number also kona mziki feel free to share your youtube like a mia to watu please enye na vile tu wanaweza to reach out kuna pia watu legal when you are telling more about legal Waneza pia kuongelesha as well. Kuna pia therapist pia. I know like at the moment she's not at at her best. So if you're also a therapist and you would love to chip in as well to, I mean, to help her through the psychological and all that. I know even your daughter, or you had not mentioned, but she also has a daughter who is like 10 years at the moment. Najwa dia na shanga where the other kid went. So if you're out there, you might be a child psychologist, you might be an adult psychologist and you will be willing to offer your services as well feel free to reach to us or to her via the details that she'll be giving us so tombia 07 50 71 53 76 mm-hmm. 07 50 71 53 76 i'm your youtube channel kwa youtube channel najita tamara tamta Mm. TikTok, Tamara Tamta. Mm-hmm. Is there anywhere else? Mm-mm. All right. And then you can YouTube channel. Yake. Subscribe, Tamara Tamtam. Kenyan girl. Kenyan girl. So make sure you subscribe. Kwa comment section, Msemet Mewatuma, Orion Production, Napia TikTok, Tamara Tamtam. Kenyan girl, Badu. Samara Tam Tam, Samara Tam Tam Pia on TikTok. I mean, go and follow her there. Thank you guys for sticking with us until here. This has been quite an inspiring story. I hope it has inspired you. It has inspired me. It has spoken to me as a person. So, I mean, till next time, adios.